I'd... So there's a dead moth we found, and then we're gonna hang it up somewhere. So let's. Open so it. what's inside? What what's in there? It's a moth. I don't like it. Okay. And a dragonfly. And dragonfly. And do you know what they're in? Rubbing alcohol. Yeah. So it's a paper towel that we soaked in rubbing alcohol because we heard that you need to soften a dried specimen. And we're going to try and mount it on some pieces of cork with some pins. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I was way too scared to touch the dragonfly and the moth, so, I, so I'm having my mom do it. This is a book, like a good sized book that's open. And then I put a paper towel and then I put a piece of cork and we're just using a regular like wine cork that we sawed in half. Um, I have some like pliers or tweezers, but I put tape around them because I don't want them to damage the wings. And I have pins. And so we're done with the moth. We sort of pulled the wings out so you can see both of them. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start on the dragonfly. lovely dragonfly our neighbor gave us. Mm -hmm. And it's a decapitated dragonfly, so I have to move the head in. Oh, oh and it's a lot softer now that we've soaked it. Ew. So push that in there. It's okay. It's it's very dead. And then I think I'll just mount its head, I guess, right on top. It's not my favorite. Yeah, it probably won't be in the right direction, but that's okay. They'll be together. Head and body. Did I stick it all the way through? I did. That's a little too far. So we're done with the dragonfly and the moth. I think we're done with it. The dragonfly is decapitated. You know what we have to do? What? We have to look up their scientific names and then we can label them.